everyone, my name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today I'll be tying um, my absolute number one go-to uh, leech pattern. Um, I absolutely love this pattern. I've been tying this one for uh, different variations of it for about 15 years, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, it's usually my number one um, fly onto, uh, onto my line um, when, I'm, when I'm indicator fishing. Um, I really love this fly under the indicator. Um, I have ripped and stripped as well, um, really slow, um, but then usually I'll, I'll go with a, a smaller bead so it doesn't sink so fast. Um, in this pattern, I, I like putting an oversized bead on just to get it down quick. Um, sometimes I'll even put a little bit of that, uh, that uh, sticky back flat lead um, uh, in the underbody. I just want to get this down quick, down to the depth, and, and then um, I fish it something similar to how you fish a coronamid figure eights, but then every once in a while I'll give it a little pop, pop, and then let it sit, and then figure eight it, and pop, pop, let it sit, and then I'll do a long strip, let it sit, you know, so, um, but like I said, this is my, my absolute 100% number one, um, it's been my top producer, um, and uh, it's super easy to tie, super quick to tie, um, so uh, I know there's a lot of different variations of it out there right now, but like I said, this is the one that I've been tying fairly similar to this for many years. It's actually in my, uh, it's uh, uh, one of the variations is in the, uh, my insect guide. It's uh, this guy right here. Uh, it's a variation of that. This one is all marabou with a, with a silver rib. Um, but uh, the one I'm gonna be tying today <clears throat> has got a silver underbody. Basically it's this fly right here. Um, I'll switch over to the large camera. <clears throat> It's that fly right there, um, but with a silver underbody instead of the, uh, um, uh, this one is the fuchsia. I also tie it in a red underbody. I also tie it in a black underbody, right? So those are the, <clears throat> the patterns, the colors I like. So this is the holographic black, that one that I just showed you. And then there's the holographic red, the holographic fuchsia. Mm, that one doesn't have a sticker on it, actually. Yeah, it fell off. It's on my tying bench. It's the hollow fuchsia. Um, I usually use Zemperfly products for this, but I actually ran out of the red and the uh, fuchsia. So um, there's the uh, silver that I'll be using today from Zemperfly. Um, there, and they're one of the biggest reasons I use the Zemperfly product, and I'll show you guys right here. Actually, I got a piece right here. <clears throat> so that is the that is the the red correct so you can see that that's the red fuchsia now uh the red uh, tinsel that's this one here but this one's a few years old and look what's happened to it just, and i haven't done anything to it it's just been sitting look at the back end of it all the red is coming off it's all just kind of silvery and stuff so that's that's what you get when you when you don't buy the best quality out there you know, so, okay, <clears throat> let's get on with it. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a little frog in my throat. So I got a little bit of a different lighting than everything set up today. Let's see if that uh, helps you guys. Um, I, I'm able to get a little closer as well. So in the vise, I've got a Hens BL599 in a size 12. Uh, it's an oversized um, brass bead. It's, I think this is a 1 8th. Um, I like going a little bit bigger on there. Um, I'll use brass... Um, copper, silver, and black. I'll mix it up. Okay, for the main tying thread, I'll be using Zemperfly Nano Silk and 12 aught in black. Give it a little bit of uh, wax, wax my thread. Start it as always. Let's get it roughly back to the curve and then come back again. And then get my scissors, cut off that waist. Now, for the tail section, I tie it in two different ways. I tie it with marabou or I tie it with foxtail. And whoop, that's kind of, today that's what I'll be tying with is foxtail. So I'm just going to take, and I really, I don't want all the, the tips on this. Okay, I don't want all the tips. What I actually want is the... It is that underbody fluffy kind of stuff. So it's going to cut a chunk off and I'll show you. So 
I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see with it so close. But see, there's the, oh, that's all the underbody and all the longer fibers at the front. So I'm actually going to hold it by all the body fluff and I'm going to pull all the longer, stiffer hairs out. So I'm left with more fluffy. Then I'm going to grab that really tough right here and I'm going to brush out all this under fluff. So hopefully I can, you guys can see this on. I'm just going to brush all that, that under fluff on the end here out because I don't need that bulk. Don't throw that fluff away. It's great dubbing. So, okay. So there's what I'm left with. So now I want about that much of a tail roughly. Yeah, about, two, about one and a half times the body length, one times. So about there. So I'm just going to transfer it over. I'm going to nip off that waist. Going to lay it down, catch it in. Try to keep this on top. It's not a huge deal if it doesn't, but uh, try to keep it on top. It just makes it a little bit more symmetrical. And then I'll go down around the bend a bit here because I want this kind of hanging down when it's in the water. Then I lift the tail up. I put a wrap in behind and back over top. Okay, back to the front. If there's any of these long ones that I didn't catch, just pick them out. Not a big deal, right? <clears throat> so pretty simple. Now, I'll take a piece of ostrich, black ostrich, and you try to, you're, what you want to find is ones that got nice long barbels coming off of the main stem. Um, just, it just helps, gives you a little bit more movement. You see these got fairly, fairly decent, fairly decently long barbels when I spread that out, see? So, okay, <clears throat> nip off the butt there, the hard butt. Just tie that in. I lick it a little bit just to get that stuff under control. And then, again, keep this on top if you can. Again, not a killer if you don't. And come around that corner to the tail. Just check. And back forward again. Now I'll take my silver, Zemperfly silver holographic tinsel. Just nip off a piece. Lay this in. Oh, come on, there you go. <clears throat> again, try and keep it on the top. It, again, this is just all for just to keep the body looking the same, right? So down and around. Bring that in now. Sometimes I'll just put a couple of dabs of super glue on there just to hold down um, the uh, flash, but. It's not necessary, so so now I'm gonna just touching. Oh, sorry, overlapping wraps. I, I definitely I don't want any of that underbody to show through. Um, if it does, just go over it twice. It's not a big deal. And I'm pulling not crazy tight, but I am pulling this tight. I, I want it a tight on the body here, and that's why I said sometimes I'll put cra uh, some crazy glue down because that'll just really suck that in there. And then I'll put a couple of wraps right at the front. Actually, I just noticed there's a little bit of uh, tinsel, um, a little bit of the underbody showing there, so I am going to wrap it one more time here. I'm just going to give it one more wrap right at the. I mean, that's just me being picky, but you don't, it's not like the fish are going to see that. So, nip that off. Now you got to be careful with this ostrich. It does have a tendency, if especially if it's older, like this stuff is, uh, of wanting to break. So you got to be kind of gentle here, and you just just space these out fairly evenly, if you can. Don't worry if it's laying forward or laying backward. The barbules, um, in this case, it's it it actually worked out nicely. It's work it's backwards, but sometimes they'll lay forward. So now I'll do two wraps right at the at the head. Lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. Couple three in front. You can rip this off, but again, I don't like doing that because sometimes it pulls out pulls out. So um, now I give. I usually do two sets of three to four. Whip finish 
Um, and the reason is because I, a lot of times I don't use um, head cement on these. If I do, then I, one set's good enough. So I have two sets of three to four. Nip that off. And there's the finished fly. Like I said, super simple to tie, really quick, only a couple of materials, and absolutely deadly effective. Um, I'm gonna just gonna get this one wet so you guys can see what it looks like when it's wet. There you go. So when that's wet, that lays down like that. Just a little bit of that silver is, is, is coming through. I think they're taking these as um, leeches, and I think they're taking them as chronomids as well because they got that that nice underbody. It almost looks like an underbody rib, right? And maybe a, a, a trailing shock or something. But uh, there, I, I like I said, I know that this is uh, my absolute number one um, producing pattern um, under an indicator. Um, and my my three favorites are the silver underbody, the red underbody, and the black underbody. I like having some of the fuchsia with me as well because sometimes they like that purpley pink. Um, but silver and red are by far my top two, uh, followed by black. So, alrighty. And you can shorten this tail up if you think that's too long. If you're getting a, if you're getting some uh, false hits, just 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 give it a pull off, right? So. Alrighty, so that is uh, the um, the the mini leech, if you want to call it the 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 uh, hollow bodied mini leech, hollow tinsel body mini leech. Um, just give that one a try. Super simple to tie. Have a bunch in your in your box, uh, and uh, like I said, under an indicator, um, and just a little bit more uh, uh, aggressive of a strip back than you would with a with a with the uh, uh, pattern. All right. So if you like that video, please give her a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, if you have, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next tying video. Tight lines, everyone.